Today, Polk County decided not to kick out one of its main trash haulers. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser shows you how improvements made by FCC Environmental Services have earned the company a refuse reprieve, at least for now. What has changed in 30 days? 30 days ago, Polk Commissioners gave FCC Environmental Services an ultimatum. Clean up your garbage collection services or risk losing your contract. Uh, have we done better in the past four weeks? Yes. Can we do even better? Yes. Today, commissioners got a report from FCC's new management showing big improvements since then and overall fewer complaints. 664 in January compared with 1,710 the month before. I'm, I'm patting you on the back. They're less, uh, but, uh, you know, we're going to be looking and listening. It uh, really shows that you're committed to Polk County. We just wish it didn't have to happen like this. The improvement was enough to keep FCC's contract alive for now, but commissioners remained skeptical. They questioned whether staffing levels would remain higher. They'd like to see even fewer complaints and worried FCC's new contract with neighboring Hillsborough County might tax the company's resources in Polk. I don't know how big that contract is. I don't know how many. It's a big contract, but we, are, we still have three other drivers here at this point. We're not going to leave it high and dry. For now, FCC said it would also keep collecting trash on Saturdays in spots drivers may have missed earlier in the week rather than waiting until the following Monday. And the county has also launched a self-service option for frustrated customers. So we have a process in place for self-haul if they don't <clears throat> do their jobs. FCC is by no means off the hook. Poll commissioners say they want updated statistics emailed to them every couple of weeks and a full presentation submitted by the company every 30 days until they're certain these improvements aren't just temporary. FCC said it's also continuing to work on upgrades to technology. They said computer software design to improve efficiency along residential routes is only working in about 40% of its trucks.